It's a heavyweight collision between the ultra-popular Brock Lesnar and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, Frank Mir. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Frank B. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is about to begin. Gentlemen, you ready? Frank Mir. You ready? Brock Lesnar. And here we go. Brock Lesnar and Frank Mir are very familiar with each other. Mir defeated Lesnar early in Brock's UFC career. And oh, big right hand. He's down. Into the guard. He lets him up. And oh, he's he answers. Hurt. Oh, those are vicious. Oh, we got tagged with a hook. Swing and a miss. I want two Working your angles. What an exchange here. What an onslaught of attack here. And now he's answered. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. left hook he can't take many more of these Joe oh nice oh he's got him dazed And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Watch it again. And here's how he finishes him off. Just picture perfect ground and pound from the side control.
official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Josh Rosenthal has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, six seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Rob Lesnar reigns supreme. Coming up next, a light heavyweight showdown between John Jones and Jason the Hitman Brills. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands five feet, 11 inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Jason Brills! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Endicott, New York, ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John Bones Jones! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to are get ready? things started. Are you ready? Jason Brills, John Jones. And here we go. Let's when go John fight. Jones fought Stefan Bonner, a fighter much older and much more experienced than he in the octagon, he really showed a great amount of composure. Yeah, he really did, Mike. That really was the coming out party for John Jones. That was the first true test of his mixed martial arts career, and he passed it with flying colors. Oh, nice left and a right. Big spinning back fist. Two, three, two. Nice work. One, one, two, nine. Let your hands go. A couple jabs. Oh, with the elbow. He hurt him with that spinning he elbow. He definitely did, Joe. He got blasted, but he seems to have recovered quickly. Oh, oh. buckled him. Spinning oh, he back finishes fist. the fight. Oh. Perfect! Wow! And it is over! Winner by knockout! Johnny Bones Jones! Let's take a look at the finish of the fight. Here's a spinning back fist. Perfect position. Perfect placement. Look at the speed and power in this spinning back fist. Watch it again, Joe. Wow. Right on the button. Here's Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 16 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, John Bones Jones. John Jones reigns supreme. Coming up next, it's a middleweight.
great matchup between Anderson, the Spider Silva, and the always elusive Yushin Okami. Our tale of the tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Wajutsu fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Kanagawa, Japan. Yushan Thunder Okami. And now, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai and Jiu Jitsu fighter. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC middleweight champion of the world, Anderson the Spider. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Mike Goldberg along. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yushin Okami, Anderson Silva. And here we go. Let's Anderson go guys, Silva. I mean, you want to talk about pound for pound, the greatest fighter in the world. I think you could make the argument it's Anderson Spider Silva. Very, very easy to make that argument. His striking is so precise and so technical. And that's one of the things that separates him from all the other guys is that he's not a wild, reckless striker. He's very technical, very controlled. And on top of that, he has a top-notch black belt Brazilian jiu-jitsu game. Uh-oh, these are big strikes. Oh, nice left and a right. shot and then hook combination oh big right hand he's down back to their feet oh he's hurt that one dropped him It looked like he was hurt, but he snapped back really quick. Oh, he lets him up. Here we see it again, Mike. Just leaps in and catches him right on the chin. And that's a wrap. <laughs> 